All right, guys, in the beginning here, this is um, the spur gear. I decided to flip the gear around, but in order for me to do that, I had to grind the shaft flat further out. Um, the only way it would fit before was with the gear flipped around the other way, which causes problems with the gear rubbing against the motor mount. So I've decided to go with the gear this way and it's solved that problem so far. It's very free now, no noises. So um, that's the start of it. I'm gonna get the mount back on, make sure all that works. Um, I'm using a tiny shim behind it and the shim that came with the car on the front here and then the bearing will go on sorry guys I'm doing this with one hand and then the motor mount should fit in there perfect lines up with the holes gears away from it so all that should be good so let me get all that snugged up i am uh going with a 14 can motor now um the 15 15 just wouldn't work so i'm gonna get this dude in there and i'll be right back with you guys so guys in my haste to get this thing put back together um, I've already made my first mistake, which would be putting all this stuff back together and not putting in the, the rear drive shaft. So I think as long as these two are turned the same direction, I can undo this deal here and should be able to slip that drive shaft in there. All right, guys. We're back, got all the, this stuff sorted out now. Spinning freely. Um, I don't know if you guys can see how those gears mesh up now. Much, much better than it was before. Nobody said anything about that, but it only made sense before to put the gear on the other way because that's where the flat spot was on the shaft. So I've ground my own flat spot turn that gear around and it's absolutely perfect now so let me get the center piece pulled out here real fast and we'll see if that works on that drive shaft it is extremely hot here today humid anyway so I think if we put this in here turn it look at there guys work perfect Grab just a dab of Loctite here. Just a small dab of Loctite. Oop. And then that's how everything gets messy. Just spilled it. That's all right. Kind of in a hurry to get this thing put back together. Thought I had till 
a little later in August to make a run. I guess I should have read the rules, huh? Okay, and there we go, guys. Like butter. So I don't remember if I told you, but I went to a 14 can. Still gonna put the Mamba X in. Um, I did upgrade the servo. Uh, the stock one just wasn't pulling it back to zero, I don't think. Uh, so now I just have to decide whether or not I'm gonna put this back in its stock location and move this thing up or what I'm gonna do. Um, I don't really have time to design a bracket All right, guys, I got the diff, front diff out, as you can see from the wreckage here. Sorry about my bench being a mess, but I'm in a hurry. Um, but you can see the front diff also nearly dry. It did have some in it, which was more than the back. Uh, I'm going to go with one million in the front. So, um, at, real quick, as you can see on the chassis here i got everything pretty well lined out um, everything is spinning free worked out awesome there was actually room to put the esc uh, with the servo in the stock spot uh, i did upgrade the servo to a nicer servo more torque so that is going to work out good Last thing I got to do is get this diff tuned uh, and get everything else locked down and get these wires managed. I wasn't able to put the box, receiver box back in there, so I went back with the receiver right here. So let me get that going. We'll get this thing back together and hopefully I can at least test it today before I go try to make a run in the morning. Um, but I'll get that going, guys. Okay, guys, wrapping up final assembly on this thing. I got um, one million weight put in this guy. Had to, uh, had to eat a popsicle. I know. It was terrible. So that I could dig it out. But that's okay. So we're going to go back with... Uh, Diff in here, make sure we get the drive shaft in there. That's good. And the diff should just pop down just like that. Now before you go putting all this back in, you want to make sure your drive shafts where the wheels go back in as well. Not sure why it's acting up here. All right, there's that one. back in there same thing on this side drive shaft all right make sure you get your sway bar hook back in there To, oops. I don't want that to not be on there. Try 
Trying to get that on there afterwards. guys and just like that it's back together I don't know if I could just find all the right tools it's like I left one way over here It's actually not that hard to get this front diff out. I discovered on the back one as well that you only have to take out one, two, three, four bolts on the back as well. Slide, take your shock mount, your shocks off, slide all this out of the way, pull these two apart, and the, without doing, you don't even have to undo the bolts on the bottom. The diff will just lift out. Yep. So I was kind of a amazed at that, seeing as how the problems I've had in the past trying to get that gear changed. You do still have to take your motor mount loose in the back, but for the most part, it's pretty. Pretty easy compared to what we were going through in the beginning with this car not knowing really much about it so it is a well-built car I will give a Lolo that Got these short ones here. Go back on the front to hold the sway bar in. Didn't even need to take that off actually. I could have left those out. I took the front uh, bumper off guys and the only reason you got to take it off is because it's attached to this piece and it won't come down without it so you do have to take this two bolts off and the three bolts on the bottom i took these three out and didn't need to so um lesson learned for next time i guess but with that it is pretty well back together. Just got to get the front uh, put back on it. Get this bolted back down. Get the wires and stuff managed in here. And she's a done deal, guys. 
get the back back on it and uh, I'm probably going to do most of that off camera because everybody knows how to do that so uh, I'll get all that um, done get my calibrations done and we will see if this thing works all right guys here she is in all of her glory i didn't have time to tidy the wires up as well as i'd like but it's together it's solid uh, i've got maybe a couple of adjustments to do on the uh Suspension here on the wheels, but I think it's going to go.